Read the title carefully before you blow your stack, people. Um, there is a guy on YouTube named Ashens. Um, I forget his first name. It's like Nathan or something. Anyway, uh, he is making a movie. And he's asking for people, his fans, to go to an indie, indie, whatever the hell it's called, Indiegogo, sorry, forgot the name of the website, uh, to go to an Indiegogo page and give him money to make this film. And I can tell you guys, I am perfectly fine with it. Now, I want to explain why I am perfectly fine with this, because obviously I've had a huge problem with someone else on this website that e-bagged for money to finance a film that he wanted to make. Um, I'm not going to reference this person by name. Um, I really don't want to, you know, get into it with you guys. I don't want to, you know, have to see you guys leave comments. You're allowed to leave comments, but whatever you want. But if you're going to drag everything back to a few months ago and, you know, go down that road again, then go ahead and do that. I'm not really going to pay much attention to your comment if you do do that. Um, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to beat a dead horse about a person who I don't even care to say the name of on this channel here anymore. In fact, I won't even say his name in this video here. Um, I don't want to respark that drama. I'm going to bring him up to reference him in a point-counterpoint type thing. Um, still won't say his name, but anyway. Um, I put out a tweet, basically, it was like a day or two ago. It said something along the lines of, um, you know, people are being persistent about asking me to make a video about this Ashens guy and um, I didn't know who he was and I said, you know, sorry, I'm not going to do it. Um, I That's true, I did not know who Ashens was. Um, I have since looked up and found out a few specifics about him and what exactly he does. Um, if I did see a video from him, I you know don't recall off the top of my head. But anyway, um, this guy wants to make a film. Um, He's, you know, passionate about technology, video games, stuff like that. Um, just perusing through his channel a little bit. I don't know why I've said um like 50 times. I hate that when people use verbal crutches like that. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I looked at his channel and, you know, saw a few videos here and there. And then I saw the video where he asked for donations from his fans. Uh, I saw that he said it again! He has around 300,000 subscribers, uh, has, has a pretty big following, and gets a very healthy amount of video views. So the guy's making a pretty decent amount of money from this website that you can ascertain just from the video views. I, being a YouTube partner myself, know, you know, the general ratio of what type of money you can see here on this website. So... I saw him and I saw that video where he asked for money from his fans and I didn't have the same bitter taste in my mouth that I did when a certain someone else made a video and asked for money from his fans. And it's not because I hate his little sidekick gimp coward of a buddy. Uh, it's not because he has a fascination with poop and sticking things up the ass and beating that joke deader than the deadest horse from the Civil War. I don't know why I said the Civil War, but anyway. Um, oh, I said it again. <laughs> the reason why is I looked at things from the outside and one of my biggest gripes between Asshole McGee and his sidekick Gimp Coward making a movie and actually Gimp Coward really didn't have any part in making the movie and Ashen's making his movie is... I said to myself, well, who has the better chance of being able to finance a film on their own? And I said, well, you know, Douchebag McGee over here gets hundreds of thousands of video views on YouTube every single week, has a website that gets thousands upon thousands of views every day, sells merchandise, has a really strong fan base that would pretty much buy whatever he put out in front of him. And then I, I see Ashens over here. I said, yeah, he makes a pretty decent amount. And one guy's asking for a couple hundred thousand and Ashens is asking for 50,000. And I'm like, all right, yeah, maybe Ashens could support this on his own.
The one thing and the one key difference that really didn't give me a bad taste as far as Ashens is going is uh, Douchebag McGee is getting his fans to fully finance a film that he wants released in theaters and then wants to be put on DVDs. Do you see what I'm getting at, people? He wants his fans to fully finance the film and then pay for it again once it's finished. That's called double dipping. I, I don't see how he couldn't just instantly say anyone that donates at least a dollar gets the film for free. He'll somehow find a way to get a DVD to him, a DVD copy or just, I don't know, anything. Anything, any way to get that movie to him for free. And when Ashens made his little video asking for donations, the one thing that just completely made me go, not e-begging, is that he said he was putting the finished movie online for free. For any of his fans, for anyone who donated, for anyone that just wants to stumble across the video and find it accidentally, they can watch it for free. The second he said that, I said, why are people blowing their stacks over this? And I feel that I'm somewhat... I feel that I should in some way kind of clarify this because I was looking through some of the comments of his videos and some of the comments I feel not to take credit for it but I feel they might have been partly uh, been inspired about my rants about douchebag McGee and his sidekick Gip the Coward and I don't want to set this trend here that just because you ask for money for something means you're a worthless e-beggar that deserves to be shunned and your product shamed and all this other stuff. No, 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 no. Again, my biggest gripe went down to who could finance their film and be fine if they finance their film and then reap ten times the benefit once the finished product was out again. Douchebag McGee is wanting to sell the product back to you after you finance it. Whereas the other guy is willing to ask for you to finance the product, wanting to make a professional product, and give it to you for free. And in both cases, I get it. No one is forced to donate, and the donations are done at a willing-from-self stance. I'm willing to give you money. I'm willing to give you money even though I know you're going to charge me to watch the film anyway. If you want to do that, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. But the fact that people are calling Ashens, I'm looking through his comments saying, Oh, you're a dirty e-beggar. You're no better than such and such. When I see comments like that, and I see them mention the guy's name that I've made a video about before, I'm like, no. I'm like, no, there, this, is, this is a grossly different situation. And... And to people giving Ashens any heat over this, I, I, I gotta say, you gotta you got look at the totality of the situation. What he's doing is... It's similar, but it's not the same. That's the best way I can say it. And seeing some hate comments on this video, and granted, they're few and far between from what I saw. It's not like he's getting inundated with thumbs downs and hate comments or anything like that. Uh, but the fact that I've seen comments that kind of echo a lot of the thoughts that I said about Douchebag McGee's videos, I just, I just go, wow, I hope I'm not responsible for that, because this guy does not deserve it. Anyway, I just wanted to clear the air here, and I just want to show you guys that, you know, just because someone, you know, asks for money to finance a project doesn't mean I'm automatically going to have to come down on because I hear some people are like, oh, you got to do it. You got to oh, stand up against e-beggars and all this. And I'm like, oh, no, I don't. I don't. So, um, I'm, you know, condoning that Ashens for what he's doing here. Um, and I'm glad kind of people kind of, you know, pointing me out to his channel because I found a lot of his videos quite interesting, to be quite honest, um, for someone I'd never heard of before. Um, anyway, um, Ashens, I, wished you, I wish you very much a lot of luck with your film. Um, I hope it, you know, meets your expectations, your fans' expectations. So I just want to say that from, you know, some guy that you've probably never even heard of yourself. So anyway, people, um, when it comes down to it, e-begging is subjective too. What one sees as e-begging is another man's just, you know, legit donation. But it is all donations. And like I said before, it's, you know, 
it's your own self that decides that and no one's really twisting arms here um, even though one person in this certain circumstance has a lot more rabid fanboys that are willing to donate for anything even if they want to buy a bag of shit off this said person but we won't go down that road anymore people have a great day